Hi everyone, so I am here to do uh, the kids Christmas advent this year. Um, I think I said in my weekly vlog that I'm doing a book advent, so I basically have gutted through their books. They've had books for five plus years and you know what kids are like, they get bored of the same ones and um, they grow up and grow out of like certain books. So I basically bought them 24 books to use for their advent. Um, and basically they're going to open a new book every single day from the 1st of December up until Christmas Eve so we can have a new book every single evening to read and obviously it just helps build up their collection again and there are so many good books out at the moment so it's nice just to you know have a purge of the old ones and then you know bring in some new fun ones that the kids are really into. Um, so yeah some of these are new some of them are from uh, charity shops whatever so um, I'm just going to go through them and I will leave them linked below as well so you can find them online hopefully this will give you some inspiration if your children are looking for you know new books or Christmas ideas you know that sort of thing so yeah let's just get started so the first one it was actually a free book this book is from school um, every so often I can't remember when was the last time children get a, a book or one or two books free um, and this one has literally just, we've just received it um, on Monday and I thought I might as well put it in. The kids haven't seen it yet and they can open this on the first day. So this one is called Kitchen Disco and I've read through it actually. It's a really cool book. It's about, um, it's about uh, vegetables and fruit coming to life when you're asleep and the pictures are really cool and they basically sing a really fun song and I think it's just getting children to... Get a bit more excited about fruit I think. So this is going to be basically the first book they're going to open tomorrow. Um, I seriously need to get wrapping. Um, it's the Book Trust, that's the ones. I don't know if you can buy it, it says not for resale. I'm sure you'll be able to find it somewhere. I will try and find it and leave it linked. Um, this next section of books, five books here, I actually got went to uh, HomeSense or TK Maxx they always have amazing offers on books and they had a set of five books for £4.99. They're in like a little plastic case. And um, some of these books are really, really good. So this one is called A Patch of Black. Just looks like that. I haven't really gone through them. I've just flicked through them just to make sure obviously it's quite readable. We like quite a lot of words, obviously. My two are older now. Alistair is really good at reading, so he reads them to us as well. But this one seemed really nice, had really nice pictures. And again, I haven't necessarily gone Christmas related. I've gone just an all-rounder. There are some Christmassy books in here, but I've gone all-rounder sort of books for both of them. Uh, this one is called Wake Up Do, Lydia Lou, which is quite a sweet, looks like quite a sweet book. Love the illustrations. Again, good read, not too much before bed, you know, sometimes the kids can get tired if I'm like reading a really long book. Um, this one is called One Ted Falls Out of Bed. They all seem to be related to bed, I didn't ever think about that when I picked them up. Um, but again, that seems like quite a sweet, sweet book. This one is called We Love Bunk Beds, typical, they're all sleepy books. I, didn't, I don't know why I didn't notice that when I found the bundle. Um, but yeah, this one looks quite sweet. It's middle elephants. Some nice pictures. And then this one says, Say goodnight to sleepy animals. I think this one Violet will like, probably. It's got fluffy, cute animals in it. And then these two books I actually got from a charity shop. I think they were about 20 or 50p each. This one is called The Witch's Children and the Queen. Um, it looks like that. I just thought it looked cool and I've never actually seen this book ever before. You know some books you can kind of familiarise and recognise in like libraries and whatever. But I've never actually seen this book before. Um, so that was a bar bit of a bargain. It does look like it's been well used and well read. This one is a cooking book. So I found this again in the charity shop about 50p. The Osborne Christmas Cooking and it's just really, really basic um, recipes. Peppermint creams. Again, this book has been well used. Um, starry jam tarts. Just some Christmas basic painted biscuits. We can do some of these recipes over half ten, and I just thought that would be 
a really good one. Again, it's a really easy read. So Alistair could, you know, it's got like the pictures so you can go through it with them and they can explain what you have to do next. Um, this one I've had since summer and I decided to put it away. Um, this one is uh, by Dr. Seuss, All the Places You'll Go. It's one of their, could, it could possibly be one of their most recent um, Dr. Seuss books out. Really good, the kids love Dr. Seuss. It's just the whole rhyming and stories. It's very higgledy piggly. Like sometimes I'll ask questions about them and I'm just like, I don't know. It's just so, they're so random these books. But um, yeah, not too much of a, of a read, but it is quite thick actually, quite a thick book, but really nice quirky illustrations. So these ones I got, buy one get one half price from Waterstones. This is a more Christmassy one. The Mouse That Cancelled Christmas. I think this is one of the newer ones out in Waterstones. Um, <clears throat> again, really nice illustrations. Not too much reading, but enough. So I think they're like that. And this one I got half price, Sproutzilla vs Christmas. I just thought Alistair would like this one and I love Sprouts, so yeah. It just look like a, a fun, read. These two for buy one get one half price from Waterstones. This one's called Ollie's Christmas Reindeer. I think I wanted to get this one last year or something similar but I didn't. Um, it just looks really quite sweet. Quite a sweet story I think. Um, yeah and then this one is called A Storm Well in Winter. I think this one I got half price. <coughs> Again, some really sweet illustrations, like a snowy, sort of Christmassy themed. Okay, so these next two books I got from MS, they were doing three for two. I got put something away that I got, but these two were both six pounds each, they're both hardback as well. Um, and I, I thought that was actually a really good deal, six pounds for a hardback book. Um, but this one is called Funny Bones, it's a really old classic, and for some reason we've just never had it. So um, yeah. It's a really good book. I think Alistair's going to love this. Um, great illustrations. And yeah, I think that would be a really nice, a really nice gift as well. So um, yeah, got that one. And then this one, again, I've seen this one around, but we've never got it. So this one is called What the Ladybird Heard. Again, it's hardback. It's a really nice size. And Julia Donaldson is one of like the classics. Um, so... Yeah, I thought that would be a good read. We've never had that one. A couple of books I got from Sainsbury's. These were £3.49 each. Again, total classics, which we've just never had. This one is the Polar Express. I'm sure everybody has this one. We've never had it. £3.49 as well, so really good value. Um, such a classic read, and obviously the film's amazing. Um, Mog's Christmas. We have Mog's something else. I can't remember what it's called. It's like a Christmas version. Um, but we haven't got just the classic Mog's Christmas. So um, I think Violet's going to like this one because she loves the other one. We've got a couple of Mog books, which is about the cat called Mog. Clever cat. Really old school illustrations. Love it. Really classic. Um, this section uh, of, how many is there? Six books I actually got from this works or the works. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's called the works. Um, these were three for five pounds, absolute bargain. And again, loads of books that we just haven't got. So this one is called Harry McClary Scatter Cat. We've had Harry McClary, just, you know, the, the classic, um, but this one was a different version. So um, I thought we'd get this. I think Violet was gonna like this one. Again, it's just a rhyming, um, remembering sort of um, story. Not too much words and quite nice illustrations. This one is called Two Bad Grands. I thought that seemed quite funny, so um, yeah, it's quite a nice, easy read again. And this one is Meg's Car. Again, we I remember reading these as a kid, we just haven't got any. I think Alistair's actually brought some of these back from his school library. Sorry about the dogs. Um, but yeah, just classic reads. There's a huge section of these as well. They have loads of different choices, but I just chose Meg's car. And then I've got another set of three. I, I chose Meg and Mog, which is um, just the, the classic version. Just about Meg and Mog. Easy read. Um, really bright and colourful books. 
This one is called The Journey Home by Hattie Peck. I've never heard of this, never seen it around before, but it just seemed really nice. It's about this hen. And, you know, originally these books are like six, seven pounds each. Three, five pounds is such a bargain. Really nice um, illustrations. And this last one is called Katie Morgrag Delivers the Mail. I think there's quite a few Katie Morag books because it says Katie Morag Classics. Oh yeah, there's some here to choose from. Again, I just thought it was a really cute farm sort of book. Just really lovely, lovely pictures. And then lastly, this is one that Alistair really, really wants. So I thought I would put this one in. David Williams, he's obsessed with David Williams and his books at the moment. Um, there's a snake in my school. I think this is one of the new ones out. This is hardback. This is actually half price on Amazon at the moment. I think it's about six pounds. Um, but yeah, he loves, he loves David Williams. He just loves his stories. They're just really funny, really silly, humorous, um, you know, not rude, but they just, I don't know, just Alistair's style of reading. And that is pretty much all of the books that I have chosen for the children. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Like I said, I hope it's given you some inspiration at least um, on book ideas for the children, for your children or even like gifts. Can't believe Christmas. It's the 1st of December tomorrow. I just, I've got so much wrapping to do. I need to start by wrapping these. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you all soon.